If it wasn't for rodeo, I don't know if I would be where I am right now. Jewelry was something that I loved. I remember I started with a small 10 by 10 booth. I still can't believe the success that we have. We've gone internationally, and it's something that I hope that I can do forever. Hi, my name is Christina Green, and I'm the owner, founder, and designer of Christina Green Jewelry from Houston, Texas. probably high school. That was really when I started designing and making jewelry. I went to Second Baptist here in town. One of the art classes I took was actually emphasis on jewelry design. So that's really how I started, you know, my love for jewelry. I ended up going out to TCU and after I graduated I went out to New York and I studied at Parsons which is a great school of design. When I came back from TCU I was hand making jewelry. Most of it was turquoise. I love the turquoise and gold and that's something I've never seen before. And while I was making the jewelry I was actually out at the rodeo and I had different ladies that were complimenting me on my things and they actually wanted to buy it off my neck. So at that time, I actually applied to have a booth out at Rodeo. We're now at five years later. We've had huge growth spurt. With Rodeo, I've not only got into our first department store, but we've gotten to about 50 other stores throughout the U.S. just from the exposure. We just got into Dillard's, so we're in about six different Dillard's that are in the Texas area. So you can always come in and shop our showroom, which is located by the Galleria. Our jewelry that's the most popular, I'd say, is our earrings. During the rodeo, something that's really, really popular for us is our hat bands and badge holders. The faceted turquoise, and then on the back, it dangles off the back. Women love to dress up their hats for rodeo, and it's just a piece of jewelry for your hat. All the stones are all natural. We work with about nine different stones. The turquoise is our most popular. So I have been manufacturing with the same company ever since we first started and the reason I picked India is for the quality, for the beauty of the jewelry is the 18 karat gold. It is that beautiful rich yellow gold and their craftsmanship is out of this world. It's something that you can't get anywhere else. India is just a very inspiring place. Whenever Hurricane Harvey hit we designed this necklace and it is the shape of Texas with a piece of turquoise where Houston is. Probably our biggest success with charitable contributions has been in our Texas Strong necklace. So we were able to donate over $10,000 to Houston Charities. And we still have a necklace that you can find on our website that's called the Scotty. This necklace is very important to me because my uncle actually passed away from lung cancer and throat cancer. You'll see that on the back of the necklace, there's a little charm that has the logo of American Lung Cancer. And with that, we were able to help the Houston chapter raise over $50,000. I do feel that rodeo has been able to shape my life. I've been going all my life. <laughs> My dad actually became a director of the show in the 80s and now is a lifetime vice president. Through rodeo, I've made so many different friends. I call them my rodeo family. I became an assistant captain for Mutton Bestie. And then a few la years later, I became a vice chairman. But we're about to go into three weeks of the show where I spend every single day at the rodeo with my booth, with my customers, doing volunteer work. <laughs> I still can't believe where I am now. I owe a lot of it to all my supporters, especially here in Houston. My main thing that I love is that our jewelry, like I said earlier, is timeless. It makes women feel special when they put it on. They feel personable with us as a company. I just really hope that it grows and people continue to wear it. <laughs>